Welcome to today's In the Kitchen with Crystal segment, the first one held here in the Fitness Is Not A Game group. And I welcome you. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, I'm Crystal Taylor. If anybody may not know, I'm Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness Is Not A Game. And today we are going to save some money and, some and save some calories by making our own fast food breakfast here in the house. In less than 30 minutes, I'm going to make three of the favorites that folks will get and I'll walk you through them in just a second but we start everything with water so drink up y'all who watch it let me know that you're watching say hey let me know where you're watching from oh that breeze feels amazing and also anybody who's watching the replay because most of you will catch on replay type replay in the comments and let me know that you came back and watched it so let's get started what are we making today Today, we are going to make breakfast from Mickey D's, of course, from Panera, and then also from Taco Bell. A lot of folks don't think of Taco Bell and breakfast, but they have it, y'all. So, what are we making? I don't know about you, but when I, one of my favorite breakfast sandwiches, period, is from Panera. It's their egg white and avocado uh, sandwich. So, we are going to put a slight spin on them because I couldn't find those dope bagels they have, right? But this is the thing. With everything that we're making today, I'm showing you how to use the healthier version of the ingredients so that you can still enjoy it but save again some doggone calories, y'all, right? So at Panera, they use a, like a, what do they call it? The multi-grain bagel, something, blah, 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 all this good stuff. I got the bagel stands. I don't know if y'all have ever had these before. But I love them because you are only, average bagel is going to be about 250 calories. This is only 110. Y'all don't even know if you can see that. I'll put it around like you can see it. But it's only 110 calories. So we are going to have everything else the same. No, we're going to have our onion, I'm Lord, tomato, <laughs> onion, avocado, of course, baby spinach, um, eggs of course and then for this sandwich i am going to use a habanero jack cheese mm, i'm going to talk to you about the uh, options with that then we are going to make uh, uh what's that taco bell has a bacon egg cheese and potato burrito baby we making that so what are we going to use? Of course, we're using the bacon. But this is the thing, we're using turkey bacon. And some of y'all are like, nah, nah, turkey bacon ain't bacon. Whatever. Yes, it is. And we're going to cook it. And I'm going to show you how to make it taste better. But the thing about turkey bacon is that it's only 30 calories per slice. Again, we are making better decisions to get the same results. Okay? Yes, I'm making that face because y'all act like y'all need the pulse. But you don't. So we're going to have the... Uh, bacon our eggs of course then we're going to put in a little bit of shredded mozzarella uh got my hash brown because well, we're gonna put some hash browns in there and then i got again it's about making healthy decisions got the carb balanced uh tortillas you can find these basically anywhere but all i'm asking you don't even have to get this one look at most stores now have a whole burrito section and I love it. Whole tortilla section. I love it because I blow it a breeze. Because I will put anything in a tortilla, almost anything, and eat it. But I like this one because it is lower in carbs, higher in fiber. But excuse me, you can choose what you're looking for specifically. You might want the whole wheat, one, you might want the all flour, you might want the spinach, whatever. Go for it. So that's number two. And then for number three, old school classic the doggone bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffin. Uh, with hash browns, of course, but what we are doing to make it healthy, we're not using the, uh, the regular magma, uh, muffins, English muffins. This is my favorite bread company it's called Healthy Life, and they really focus on making it low carb and high fiber. And they're only a hundred and what's it, hundred calories, right? But it's a lot of carb. I mean, a lot of carb, a lot of fiber in here, and less carb. And then, of course, we have. Our turkey bacon again, saving calories, and we're gonna use our spicy habanero again for that too. All right, so we're about y'all ready. And you know what? This funny thing. Guess what? 
They acting up with me. I can't see y'all comments. <laughs> of course I can't see y'all comments. That would be too much like right. Let me get that out the way. So we're going to go ahead and get started with these head brows. Because what we do. Oh, this is the thing. Let's talk. Because we're talking about. Y'all see, I told y'all I do everything while I'm on the camera with y'all. There's. Because I want to show you how quick and easy it is to do stuff. I don't want you to feel like I prepped anything prior to coming on with you all. Do it all on here. Um, but the whole thing is we want to make healthier decisions. So as you see, I am about to bake my hash browns because we save calories when we don't fry them. That's part of the issue when we go to the fast food restaurants. They are not baking their hash browns. They're frying them. So now you're eating extra uh, fat and grease and all that stuff and you don't need all that. Alright? So, got my hash browns, my last two hash browns. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put these in the oven, but this is also what I do, y'all. A lot of people don't do this. I season my potatoes before I bake them so the flavor can uh, cook into it. And I can use a little bit, it's a little bit of seasoning salt. Use some pepper. Because I like pepper. And then I use a nice amount. The the uh, secret is the onion powder. We know how much onions and potatoes go together. So I season that up. I'm going to put this in the toaster oven or oven, whatever you got, to get that to start cooking. Because those are going to take the longest. All right? This out the way. Next up, what are we going to do? Because everything is quick and easy we are going to start cooking our bacon like i said a lot of people are like i don't like turkey bacon because it's all dry and all that good stuff it does not have to be but when you put it in the microwave yeah it turns into like a, a dry cardboard ish i think but we are just going to cook it on the stove top to keep it a little juicy juicy Let's see how many slices of bacon we need. You only need two. But I think I'm going to make three. Ah, need a little extra. Why not? When you only have 30 calories, when there's only 30 calories per slice, why not? That's the great thing about it. When you make healthier options in your, uh, put healthier options in your food, then you can enjoy more of it if you want to and still stay within your calorie range or your macro range, whatever you're looking at. And don't feel bad about it. And I don't let people feel bad about it when they're eating or whatever. But it's just the truth. Now you get to eat and eat and enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. All right. I don't know what I just touched. Just felt weird. <laughs> I told y'all, y'all in my kitchen for real. Look here. Y'all see, I was gay up my last two hash browns. Now we at the end of this pack. Oh, this is perfect. Bam. Bam. I didn't even need the other one. Loo -loo. Oh, that's what. All right. Just throwing these in the skillet. You know what happened to that piece of bacon, but guess what? We're gonna we're gonna cook it and we're gonna eat it. Watch these hangs again. Get that bacon juice off. And yes, there is juice. There just isn't as much fat as y'all used to. Well, I would say folks can be used to. I'm gonna get this out the way. Hey, 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 y'all! I'm not. Tax supporting came in and secretly fixed the uh the chat. Ooh, ooh. Still ain't getting no, no. Still ain't getting no food. Still ain't getting no food. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, oh, oh shite. Oh, y'all didn't hear me say that. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I did. Ooh, we gonna hope this thing make it through. Ah! <laughs> oh, that talk, that's what I get for talking trash about tech support. I own it. I own it. I own it. Hey, Miss, um, oh, Miss Patricia, you, you in Oklahoma. Well, hey. Well, hey, well, hey. I see, uh, yes, Miss Phyllis. I see Aisha. Dino said, let me see your skills. Dino, don't play with me. I do this in here. I have fun in the kitchen. That's one thing I will tell you. I have fun because I like to eat. I like to eat way too much. For me not to enjoy my food, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Bacon already smelling good. That's what I'm talking about. We're just going to let that cook. So, 
so what we can do in the meantime is prep the little stuff that we need. That's what I said. It's not even a lot. We are literally, this is how easy it is. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these English muffins in the toaster. That bacon smells so good. Mmm. And you know it's funny, people. Oh, we're not even already cut. Oh, there. Um, you know, people, like, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be honest. Healthy life, I like healthy life. Uh, my cousin's like, cuz, no, you know, she likes the nice, uh, fluffy bread and all that good stuff. But the thing with English muffins is English muffins. They all the same. They all got nooks and crannies. So if you can save some calories and save some fat, get some extra fiber, why not? So we're just going to go ahead and put these uh, English muffins. Oh, I smell the potatoes. Smell the potatoes. And the bacon. They cooking. Oh, it smells so good in here. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go with these in the toaster for when it's time to cook them. Ooh, come on bacon. Come on bacon. Y'all hear that popping? Y'all hear that popping like bacon? This Mr. Mrs. Turkey bacon ain't real. Whatever. Yes it is. Come on now. They'll turn this fan on before. Uh y'all know how I see it even get smoky like real bacon. But I don't want the uh, smoke detectors going on. Yeah, I should have got them. You got a fork. That's all right. I'm going to make it do what it do. Turn it down a little bit. All right. Got those in there. So then we're just going to cut up these. Uh, we're going to slice up a tomato. We're going to get all our stuff together for our um, Panera sandwich remake. And y'all, I have to, I got a thing for junk. I gotta get stuff out the way as I use it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Leslie. Y'all better, oh, drink some more water, y'all. Drink some water. If anybody, this is your first time rocking with me as I cook, I dance a lot. I got a music player, but I ain't dancing for the music. I like food. So all I'm doing, <laughs> so y'all gonna see me dance a lot. So all I'm doing now is I'm cutting some really thin, ooh, child, some thin slices of this onion up. This red onion, thinly sliced, just adds a little bit of flavor, like a little kick, like that little surprise. And that's the thing. When it comes to uh, cooking and eating, you can't, you can't eat bland stuff. People think that in order for it to be healthy, it has to be bland and boring, blah, 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 blah. If you're eating bland and boring, you're not going to stick to it. And you're going to mess around and say, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to eat this. I'm just going to eat that. And then you're going to eat something that's off path. Something that does not align with your goals. And then you get frustrated because then you look in the mirror and you're like, dang, I shouldn't have ate that. And you already knew you shouldn't have eaten it, but you didn't like the healthier food because you thought it was boring. And that's what happens. So we play with flavors a lot. So that's why I love stuff like onions and herbs. Oh, we're going to pull out some herbs to put on this sweet sandwich. Yes. You see, I, I would call it an audible in a heartbeat while I'm cooking. If I just even think about another ingredient or see one, like, you know what, I may as well add that too. This bacon, come on through bacon. Bacon is done. Let me, let me let it, uh, the, the grease come off of it. My uh, bacon naysayers. Look at that. I got to let the bacon grease come off of it. So we did that. Yes, we did. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -mm. Bacon done. I'm going to sit that to the side. These potatoes are smelling great. All right, so let me get back to uh, <laughs> y'all going to stop clowning me in my dancing while I cook and eat. I like food and I'm not ashamed of. See? Read the shirt. Y'all see that? Well, at least I know what I'm about to eat. I ain't even eat breakfast this morning waiting on this. Look here. I, and I'm just making a uh, slightly thin slice of uh, tomato. Big enough to go on the sandwich tray. Um, but uh, my mama saw that. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. So folks think when it comes to losing weight, you're not supposed to eat certain things. And potatoes and starches always come to the top of the list. I ain't giving up my potatoes. That ain't happening. Um, Cause let my mama tell it. She kept this 
story going until the day she died. I'll stop that now. She swears that French fries, A, was one of my favorite words, one of my first words when I was a baby. She said that I used to sit in front of the TV. Ooh, hey, pretty girl. The slicing up avocado. She swears that I used to, when well, she swore, that I would sit in front of the TV and wait for McDonald's commercials to come on. And uh, she said she would just hear me go, fit five, So I love potato. That's why I can't wait for breakfast because we're going to put potatoes in a burrito. What? What? I don't even know which one I want to eat first. I really don't. And you heard me say first. And uh, somebody who lives with me feels like they about to come get some of the breakfast. Uh, I don't even know which one I want to share. So I'm going to leave this avocado here. And I don't know if y'all saw, but I got a cute avocado container to save my other half. All right. So for the most part, everything is basically done. We just waiting on these potatoes. But we don't need potatoes for our uh, Panera sandwich. So we about to get cracking on that. We are going to, and all we got to do now is make the eggs. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. That's it. Yeah, stop playing with me. Acting like you don't know how to make healthier foods for yourself. Feeling like you got to spend your money at the stores. I mean, these restaurants. No, you don't. No, you don't. And so what you'll see is that I'm actually, I'm going to grab the fork. I'm going to show y'all how I do it for real. <laughs> so I have two eggs, but I'm not going to eat both eggs whole. I'm going to eat one whole egg and one egg white. I do that because we like the yolk. Yolk is where the flavor is, the texture, but when that's also where the extra calories and the fat are and, of course, the cholesterol. So if you eat this whole egg by itself, uh, the whole egg is 70 calories, but when you just eat the egg white, it's only 13, right? So how do you not want that difference? So you can say, especially if you're counting your macros. So what I do is, um, instead of eating two eggs like I used to do, I'll just do one egg, one whole egg, and one egg white to give me more eggs without the extra calories. And plus, I definitely want to watch how much fat and calories I'm including since I'm adding some cheese. Uh, Got to make a decision, right? Got to decide which one you want. Um, you know, how to make it work. So since I know, that's what I said, I know I want some cheese, I'm going to make a decision to not eat two whole eggs and save some of my calories. So I sort out my uh, uh, egg white first. Because it, it's so frustrating when you try to get your egg white and then the whole egg fall in there. All right. So let me check this comment. <laughs> yes, Aisha, I love the container. I love containers. Yes. Come on, Freddie. Tell them. Fast food restaurants are overpriced. They aren't healthy for you. And they don't even taste as good. But I tell you, he goes through the drive and be so mad every time. And this is the last time I'm done. They on the list. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little pepper. And so this is what I was laughing. I said, I'm going to do it. I, don't, I ain't got time to be wasting extra dishes. I scramble with my spatula. <laughs> I don't need to, I don't have to scramble it in no, uh, in no bowl. You know, look at, I told y'all, it's all about quick and easy. And it's still efficient and it tastes good. But what I am going to do is, I am going to let it sit. I scrambled it so that the eggs, you know, are scrambled. But this isn't a scrambled egg sandwich. So now I'm going to let it form into the egg patty a little bit. And since we are doing the Panera sandwich, we're going to get this bagel thin together. And we're going to drink some more water. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. And we're not even using bacon on this one. This is literally just egg, avocado, pota uh, potato, tomato. Onion. Ooh. All right. Make that get a little solid. Get that little solid. Not solid as a rock, though. And then what I'm going to do, y'all, while that's cooking, another hack. Another hack. So I have my habanero. Oh, I love everything spicy, right? So I have my habanero jack cheese. What you're going to see is I'm just using half a slice. Come on now. Think about it. Make compromise. Do you really need the whole slice of cheese? 
No, you do not. And slice of cheese is 70 carrots. So now instead of me having a 70, just have 35. Still gonna be good. Stop playing. Look at my plate. It's together. I'm excited. Now, if you get this sandwich, this particular sandwich at Panera, you're looking at about 360 calories, but let's add it up, right? So for this, the bagel is 100, what, 110 calories, I think we said. The eggs together is going to be like 83, so that's 190. Um, the cheese, 35, so it's two some, but where our extra um, calories and fat will come from, they're actually good from the avocado. So that's going to be about another 70. So you said about 60 calories. So we're around there. We heard that's ready. It's ready. It's ready. So now we're going to slide this. Oh my God. Why does everything smell so good? My goodness. Put that egg on there. Then we about to layer. Get this red onion. Mm, mm, mm. put the tomato. Oh, 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 almost forgot my friend. Uh, did I tell y'all? You putting spinach on this bad boy too? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. All right. Let me get me some avocado. Mm. I don't even need this whole half. And I'm just doing thin slices. Grab a spoon. Let me grab a spoon. My bad. Getting the spoon. Ooh. Wee. Ooh, it's so soft. Mm. I'm so excited. Put this bad boy on here. Mm, mm, mm. Then all I need is spinach. Y'all, this is about to be so good. Bam, that's what I said. We don't have the multi grain sprouted bagel, so it's not exactly the same as Panera, but baby, look here, look at here. You see all that flavor? Mm. You know what? I'm gonna cut this, <laughs> do a little piece, cut this bad boy in half. Uh oh, try not to mush my avocado. This is salt. Mmm, mmm. See that? Mmm. Look at all that flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's one done. Bam. Let me get these other eggs together. Because what's next? What's next? We're going to get the, uh, oh no. We're about to go and get this other sandwich together. Let me wipe this on now. Because next up, where's my towel? Is the bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, man, look at it. Look here. Look here. Do you have any idea how I'm going to smash when we're done? Yes, Tara, it is going to be delicious. Doing the same thing with, well, actually, for this one, for the bacon, and egg, and cheese, just going to make. Let's see. What should we do? I told y'all be calling audibles. Yeah, we'll just use one egg. Now I probably will add another. I probably will. Yep. Let me go ahead and do my one and my half and half. They joke me because I talk about my half and half. But it works for me. Because let's be real. Scrambling up egg whites. Y'all hate the potatoes. It's ready. Scrambling up egg whites ain't delicious. I'll never tell y'all it is. No. I, I rock the egg whites when they're boiled all day. No problem. But when it comes to scrambling them, it's not the same. It's just not. Let's be, let's be clear and real on that. So we're going to do the same thing with this one. Let's see. I like that one. Scramble that on up. Yeah, buddy. And then let it form to the little egg patty. So what we're gonna do is get these hash browns out. Ooh, are they sizzling? Yes. Yes. Hear that? See that? Mmm. 
smells so yummy. Set those there till we ready to rock with them. Oh, you know what we're gonna go ahead and do with them? Cause for this burrito, can't have, just put it in there. Mm -hmm. So don't talk about me, I do grab stuff straight out the oven. <laughs> they say my hands, my hands are numb. <laughs> when you're a mama, that's what happens. So I am gonna go ahead, cut that up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put this in the burrito for real for real mm -hmm. slice it up set that to the side i'll show y'all what i'm gonna do with that thing all right egg is forming it's uh patty and y'all know the dog old egg things they be giving you at the mickey d's they just don't even look right a little like eggs you know they sweat they swear they crack eggs into it they real eggs but I don't know if I believe it, fam. I don't. Turn those muffins on. Mm, let me get my next plate. Mm, mm, mm. And all we're going to add to this is bacon and cheese. And I'm going to put that cheese on that egg while it's melting. I mean, while it's cooking. So it can just melt on into it. And again, only using half a cup. Put this back in the fridge. It's warm up in here. I oh, want my cheese going back. Mm -mm. Yeah, buddy. Break that in half. Uh, uh. This Mmm. So yummy. That's the thing, y'all. Stop doing basic stuff. Stop eating just regular merit. You can get you some. Should they even get you some pole on or something? Let it melt real good. Sheesh. Uh, back there. Oh, yeah. Bam. Right now, I'm about to say, man, what's taking so long? Our English muffin is, I don't even like mine too duper toasted and hard. I just need it, uh, need it cooked through. But we gonna put our, oh, wait. Come on, crispy bacon. My bad. Oh, I like to do them. Mm. I put bacon on top and bottom. Why not? My egg on there. Uh oh. Why y'all doing me on the fire off? Huh? Put a little more piece of bacon on here. So we're gonna use there we go. Shoot. Yeah. Put that on there. Let's cut this one in half too. So you can see bacon at the top, bacon at the bottom. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. And guess what? Because we are recreating. Oh, y'all see that cheese? Oh, y'all see that cheese milk? Oh, <laughs> come on, cheese. Oh, look, look at that. Wait a minute. Look at that for my cheese lovers. Look at that cheese just melt. Oh, come through. Because it is Mickey D's. We gonna have our half browns now. If we were at McDonald's. Doggone sandwich is about what? How much is this sandwich? Uh, I think it's like, let me look. So I had to go Google it. 460 to 480 calories. What? And the hash brown is 140. What? Well, we just baked it all. And I don't even think this whole meal is at 406. So you basically get your hash browns free and you save fat because it's all baked. Uh, Aisha, uh, yeah, uh, sure sis, come get you some bacon, come get you some bacon, but now we on to it, let me wash my hands, last one, I have too much fun talking y'all, it don't even take this long to cook, yeah, so we about to make our burrito, yeah, 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 let's straighten it up all the time, so I don't know about y'all, but I'm not eating no burrito that's not warmed up on the oven. All we're gonna do with this, oh, that's right. Let me get these uh, other eggs going. The egg, the last egg. We're gonna scramble this egg. So we get this low. I hear rat feet coming. All right, turn this on. Um, Most task. Just gonna do a quick. Scramble the egg. Yeah, like Chris, did you wipe that out? Nope. It's alright. Just scrambling the egg too. 
Uh, damn. Got my eggs. Somebody's in the corner. Um, looking real hopeful right now. You know what? We're going to rock the one and one again. Why not? Give more depth. Get a bigger burrito. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now, fam. Yes, you gotta, I'm telling you, Aisha, you gotta sandwich that sandwich. You gotta make sure you enjoy it. That's the, that's the problem. A lot of folks, you know, they say, I gotta uh, eat healthy, so they afraid to actually enjoy it. They're like, you know what? I'll just suffer through. I'll just take this. I'll just take that. No, fam. No, you should enjoy everything. Everything. There's always a way to enjoy it. Without it, you know, have wreaking havoc on your doggone hips, on your waist, your belly, and all that other stuff. Now, with this one, since we are doing a scramble, we're going to burrito, and I'm scrambling up a little bit more. Got my tortilla. I'm gonna put this young thing on, on the griddle to get it to warm up, get a little toast, but then. I'm going to tell you what else we're going to do before we get done with it. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, chat. Come on through, burrito. Get on there. I don't know. Yeah, we work with that. It's, that was shape funny, but you going to work with it. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Check on these eggs. Got this little tortilla low and slow. Like I said, I just want to brown a little bit. Well, get uh, cook a little bit. It's hard to describe. Cause it's not cooking, but it's I don't. I can't say I'm toasting it or browning it. Either way, good. All right, bam. Yeah. Eggs are done. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Ah, who know about that? My youngest who don't know. Back. Here's some water, y'all. Somebody type drink in the comments. All right. So this is a little warm. So now we about to have fun and stack this thing up. So I'm get these eggs. Put that in there. Mm-hmm. This avocado better move before it finds itself up in here. Or maybe I top with avocado. Get the bacon. I'm crumble this up. Crumb. That's what I was supposed to be. Had three slices. I was gonna do one and a half each. But I'm like, eh, it looked too doggone good in that doggone sandwich. So it'll be alright. Then we're gonna get some of this here cheese. We're just gonna sprinkle it, y'all. That's another thing folks do. They go overboard. If you gonna go overboard, go overboard with the right stuff. Go overboard with the, the onions and the tomato. I go overboard on the cheese. And I know you're like, you just reached that three times. I ain't grabbed that much. I was painting. I was painting. All right, I got my eggs, my cheese, my bacon. Here come the bacon. Hey, boo. See that? Just placing the potato throughout. Mm -hmm. and then here we go y'all ready we're gonna roll this thing up we're gonna roll this thing up get this burrito going look at that roll your burrito I'm gonna turn this here five back on cause y'all we about to crisp this thing up I'm going to cook this thing together. Yeah, hey, Miss Bridget. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Just going to sit this on here and let it cook itself close. Yes. Come on through. I'm gonna use this hip plate. Mm, mm. I think we might top this. Oh, look what I found, y'all. I'm baking. <laughs> I got a problem. The 
drink some water while this is browning up. We are almost done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear that foolishness behind me? I ain't gonna tell y'all what's happening. That's a shame. I really cannot not clean up. Got props. I got props. All right, so y'all tell me, which one do you want to try first? Which one you say, you know what? I didn't realize it was that easy. Oh, oh man. That looks simple. Oh, ooh, that looks tasty. I think I'm going to do that. And then tell me which one should I eat first? I think I, I don't even know which one I'm going to eat. I cannot decide. And that's a shame. I really can't. Oh, look at that. Look at that pretty baby. I think I might hit this burrito because it got everything in it. It got the tortilla, the bacon, the potato, and then I think I am going to add me some avocado. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. Right, Miss Phyllis, we don't waste no food. Look at look. One of these days, y'all going to be some witnesses. Now I don't want y'all to be witnesses because then y'all have to testify. But if the little rat don't go on somewhere, Rubbing pants together. Ooh, there we go, burrito. Ooh, chap. Bam. Let's cut this bad boy in half, too. Let's see about it. Come on, man. Y'all. Mm. That's a shame, my bad. <laughs> Look at all that up and down. Look at all that up and down. So y'all, done. Breakfast burrito, bacon, egg, and cheese, McMuffin with hash browns, and the egg white avocado um, bagel there. Tell tech support to behave. Look here, y'all already know. So, tech support is also the taste test. Come on, taste tester. We ain't tasting. We eating today. You don't what get no love. What are we starting with? You, they, you tell me. Something? Um, uh, no, not yet. They just said for you to behave. Behave? Oh, yes. behave. So, okay, I made this one first. So try that one first. Why are you back then? I don't know. Why are you back then? Let's see. I want this. Uh, <laughs> Miss Ali said, "Don't hurt Freddie. Show the love." It was juicy. Mmm. Like it. You taste the uh, onion? Everything. They all come out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you got two more to taste. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good too. Mm-hmm. Bacon egg. Mmm, that's finished. Bacon egg and cheese and hash brown. Mmm. Mmm, that cheese. Mm-hmm. You saw that cheese melting, didn't you? That habanero jack. That extra bacon, that extra layer of bacon. Oh, that dog on English muffin so soft. That's good. That's my favorite so far. Mm. Okay. Mm. That bacon comes through on that. Don't be wait a minute. So you saying you eyeballing the avocado? <laughs> Y'all here put his bead in on which one is his? I'm just saying, you might as well get half of everything. Breakfast burrito. A potato. Um, that potato is real good up in there. Y'all, so, dang. Come through a potato. I know it's gonna be good. Mm, a little oh, I'm gonna put some. So this, I'm tell y'all. So I'm grab it. I'm gonna put some avocado on this baby, and then a little sriracha. Oh, y'all see how thin slice it is? Y'all gotta forgive me. Y'all know top in the back. Y'all know how much I love food. And if y'all don't know, if y'all did know. You do now. Ooh, child. Come on now. Now I gotta forgive us for eating. 
But I just wanted y'all to know the real deal on how these things go. Because if I don't like it, I'll tell you. If it's bland, if it's just all right. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This, this green stuff. That's another thing. Which, oh, you want some? <laughs> That's the thing. Sriracha. Sauce. I add sauces like sriracha, like uh, the ones that aren't heavy in sugars, to the meals to add extra flavor again. Stop running from flavor, but don't run. You don't have to run to the thick, creamy sauces. Now, of course, with the sriracha, if you might have high blood pressure or you're watching your sodium content, sriracha, ooh, excuse me, sriracha may not be the best option for you. But find different ways to boost your palate. You know, like, well, wake up your palate like, oh, what's that? What's that? So let me... Let me see about this here, avocado and sprout. Yeah. But I can honestly take it without. It's good without it. Mm. So that's it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this week's In the Kitchen with Crystal segment where I showed you how to make three uh, breakfast items that people typically spend their money on and spend their calories on out and about and you can just make it at home and all of these even though we just ate them up real fast all of these y'all gonna be witnesses can be made in advance wrapped up put in the refrigerator put in the freezer for the day you want to eat them then you just throw them in the microwave so if you know you have a busy day coming up i mean busy week coming up make you a few these said no that ain't the one you want get the one you want oh, i'm gonna get the other half Okay, I'm gonna get up off here before, before y'all see something. But what I was saying was, was that you can make all of these in advance, freeze them, microwave them, so that if you know you're gonna have a busy week and you don't want to risk going through a drive-through to waste that money, to waste the calories, to even waste the taste and control how you enjoy it, then make it in advance. A lot of times people think that meal prep has to be crazy. It does not. You can focus on meal prepping one meal. If you know breakfast is where you typically go off the rail, then meal prep a few of those. You see, I just made three of them. You don't even have to do the full week. But just do it if you say, I know this week is going to be busy on these days. Let me go ahead and prep so I can make sure that I can eat so I can just grab it, throw it in the microwave, grab it, and go. All right? So those are my tips for the day. I appreciate you all so much. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for rocking with me. Again, I am Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness is Not a Game, and this has been In the Kitchen with Crystal. I will see y'all again soon. Uh, drink water. Be safe because I want you happy, I want you healthy, and I want you here. All right, y'all. Oh, Miss Ali. <laughs> Miss Ali, I am being kind. So he just he just eat all my food. Oh, so you oh so what he's doing is he's he's eating half of everything. Is yeah. that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, but I think he's about to eat the whole you avocado. Want the, right. You want that side? No, you can <laughs> This man just asked me <laughs> Come here, come here, say it again. He just asked me which side I want. Which side you want? He said, which side do you want? <laughs> you know, I gotta ask. Sometimes she don't want to eat a lot. And she'll be like, ah, oh, just take a little piece. So I'm just trying to see if this is one of their moments. Uh, you can go for it, because, shoot, I am a little full. <laughs> but I'm about to finish this, though. That's what I'm about to do. So I'm not going to ask again. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for rocking with me. And I will see y'all again next week. I'm not going to tell you what, we, what we're making yet. You got to come back find out. I'll give you a teaser. Give me a little hint. Probably on Friday. All right, y'all. See you later.